and we come to the Monday play. Good Time by Bill Norton. Dearly beloved brethren, we are assembled here in the sight of God and before this congregation to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. It's our Arthur's wedding day. First That's my eldest son, Arthur. It's Marion Violet Piper, and there they are, standing just in front of us at the altar. Oh, we couldn't wish for a nicer couple. Violet's a picture of innocence, bless her, and as for our Arthur, well, although I say it as shouldn't, you, you couldn't meet her. Excuse me. Lucy, he's dropped it. Dropped what? Our Arthur dropped the wedding ring. Shh. He's baked it all. He should never have dropped it in first place. Well, he should let her keep his mind all he's about. Yes, rare. Oh, hey, but aren't they a lovely couple? Hi, they make a bonny couple. God bless them. Hey, <laughs> 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 say, mother. How much longer has my dad going on with his dancing caper in there? You know what your dad is once he gets started. Mm. That's why I escaped here into the kitchen. He seems to be enjoying himself. Oh, I, I just wish you wouldn't make such a noise about it. I'll tell you what. Why don't you two sneak off upstairs to bed while there's nobody watching? I'd love to, but I don't think it'd look nice. And I'd have to say goodnight to my mum and dad. I wish we'd taken your advice now, Mum, and gone away. No. If only for the weekend. Well, never mind, love. You, you haven't abandoned your honeymoon, only postponed it. Uh, hey, Violet, put kettle on for me and we'll make them all some tea. Give them a bit of wedding cake to see them off with, eh? <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll go in front place and try and quiet your dad down a bit, Arthur. Well, I'd best go in with you, Mum. Put a good face on things. Yeah, well, it is your wedding night. <laughs> Right, y'all, Mom. Hey, who turned the music down? Mom said to turn it down. Never mind what your mum said. You turn it up again. Good old days, and that's the spirit. She said we've got to think about the neighbours. Who are the the neighbours? We all have now. Jeff, turn it up when your dad tells you. Right, y'all. We look out, Ezra. Find the rock. Oh, hey, look out! Shut it off. It does come a cropper. Mr. Finn, are you all right? Have you heard? Let me a right bang. Are you all right, Ezra? I am. I'm all right. Let's give you a hug, Ezra. Molly, help the poor chap. No, 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 no. Leave him where he be. I'm all right. Let go of me. Are you sure, Dad? Take hold of me. Take your bloody arm out of the way, I tell you. I'm all right. Out of the way, everybody, whilst I get up. I am sorry. Oh, 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 well, he looks all in one piece. <laughs> yeah. I am all in one piece. Hey, you. How are Arthur? What, are you oh. talking to me? Hi. Did you trip me deliberate? Me? Uh, hey. I didn't trip you up at all. I was nowhere near you. Well, I fell over somebody's foot. Well, it must have been your own. I'm not the sort of chap to fall over my own foot. I'm too nimble. Oh, uh, you're about as nimble as a baby elephant. Mr. Fitton, what? you tripped over the edge of the rug. Uh, yes, Ezra, I saw it. Well, funny, I could have I swore I saw a foot sticking out. <laughs> well, if you, if you don't mind me saying so, Mr. Fitton, you're mistaken. I mean, mm. your, your Arthur was over here, and he just picked up that book and he was reading. Right. Son of mine, <laughs> reading on his wedding night. I never thought I'd live to see the day. Happen he's reading it up, isn't he? <laughs> you know. <laughs> you can never know too much about that game. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Thompson, but I'd rather you didn't come up with that sort of talk, uh, ladies present, eh? Yes. Jeffrey? 
Turn that music on again. Oh. Ah, come oh, on, bring on the dancing girl. Oh, dear, sir. Oh, dear, sir. Oh, oh, dear. Of course I will, love. Now. Give it to you. To you, everybody. Oh, yes, and uh, what was that argument going on then? Your son was reading a book. <laughs> Your son as well as mine. Uh, sugar bread. Is that give it his fitting? Just one. Mm. Why shouldn't he read if he wants? Oh, there. Let's <laughs> drop the old thing. All right, love. Uh, tea, Molly? Oh, yes, please. Oh, Arthur was doing no harm. Well, I'd never have read a book on my wedding night. Seeing as you've never read a book in your life, I'd be surprised if you turned to one then. <laughs> I bet you could hardly see on your wedding night, is it? Uh, uh, no tea, please, Mrs Fitton. I'll stick to the uh, the beer. The barrel's not empty yet. Now, uh, oh, that's really just where you're wrong, wrong, Mr Thompson, about me not seeing. I can see us walking along promenade at Blackpool about midnight, as clear as I can see you lot in front of me. Oh, what was it like, Dad? Hee <laughs> hee, south of France. We've been dancing at Tower. It was such a lovely warm night, we went for a stroll. I remember Moon was hanging over at sea, and it was that big, it didn't seem real, did it, Lucy? Mm, there were a lot that didn't seem real about that night. <laughs> now, what about some wedding cake, everybody? Oh, hey, oh, come oh, over oh, here oh, with oh, that oh, cake. Nice. Sorry, Liz, I was just having a last little chat with our Violet. You've never done chatting, you two. When you get home with me, you won't have a word for the cat. Anyway, what are you walking about with the wedding cake in your hands for? Put it down. Yeah. I will if you'll show me where. Oh, love, don't keep picking on Dad. Nobody's picking at him. The way he's going round with that cake, anybody would think he was going to take it home and put it under his splendid pillow. Where can I put it? Oh, I'd love to tell you. I would know. <laughs> hey, give it here, Mr. Viper. I'll make room on dresser. I'm glad to know somebody else besides us can have words. I wasn't having words. I was just telling him. Will you shut up about the wedding cake? There you are. Hey, finally, uh, cut him slices off, love. Now, uh, tea, anybody? Uh, what about you, Eddie? Hey, oh, I yes, please. <laughs> hey, Mr. Fitton. I? I mean, you, you sounded quite romantic back there. Where? Well, walking along the front at Blackpool on your wedding night. Oh, I. If folk were turning round, you know, stopping in the tracks. Well, whatever for? Well, it was such a soppy lot. <laughs> to, to listen, that's what for. To listen to what? We were singing a song called Roses. Do you remember it, Lucy? There's not much I'm likely to forget about that time. <laughs> now, who's for wedding cake? Oh, hey, hey, me, Mrs. Fitton, please. And he's such a grand voice, had Billy. He was what you call a golden tenor. His high notes that seemed to rise up in fur and go sailing over at sea. Quite charm, folks, it did. Same as I tell you, they were even following us to listen. But who was Billy? Just what I was wondering. Aye. How did Billy get in on the act, Mum? On your wedding night? Eh? Who? <laughs> oh. Me dad said something about Billy. About him singing. Never you mind, Billy. You go off and fetch kettle. All right, oh, Mum. <laughs> oh, uh, Arthur, love, yeah. you want a cup of tea? Oh, yeah, thanks, Mum. Here, Arthur. What about having a pint of ale with your old dad? Uh, oh, thanks very much, Dad, but I'd rather have a cup of tea. Too much beer seems to give me a headache this time of night. Never thought I'd hear a son of mine say prefer a cup of tea to a pint of beer. Are you trying to get at our Arthur again on Lad's wedding night? Mother, sh <laughs> tell you I'm not no. getting at it. Of course you're not, Mr. Fitton. You only meant it for his good. I want to see the lad happy, that's all. I don't like to see him with a book. It doesn't seem natural. Anyway, what good's all his reading done him, I'd like to know. And what good has all your beer drinking done you, I'd like to know. All I want is for our Arthur to enjoy yourself. Have a bit of a jollification like the rest of us. Yeah, don't forget, as rich his wedding night. So he's got his jollification to come in, eh? <laughs> I bet he can hardly wait. <laughs> Mr. Thompson, guest under my roof, but I'd rather you didn't come out with that sort of thing. Here, here. I'm glad someone has the guts to tell my husband. Oh, oh, he's shut up. It's all in me fun, is it? Hey, chap, hey, what about something? Oh, 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 I wish I was single again. Again. I wish I was single again. Now, come on, join in. I wish I was single. Me pockets would jingle. Me pockets would jingle again. Me wife got the fever, old then. Old then. Me wife got the fever, old then. Oh, me wife got the fever and I had to leave her. I wish I was single again. Oh, I wish I, I was single, single again. again. Stop! <laughs> oh, stop! Oh, that's enough of that. I think so. Not to song for a wedding party. You're quite right, Mr. Fitton. Hey, Ed, why don't you sing one of the old songs for a change? Hey, 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 hey Mr. Oh, Fitton, hey, hey, come on, yeah. sing that one you sang on Blackpool Prom. You know, with your pal Billy. Oh. Oh, no, I'm not, not so sure I can, anyway. Oh, you can't. Oh, I won't know it. Well, give me a couple of notes, I might. <laughs> well, it goes like this, lad. Uh, 
Send the red, red roses to tell thee of the morn. When first among the roses our happy love was born, our happy love was born. I'll send thee white, white roses to tell thee. Let's slip upstairs and do that trick on a bridal couple I told you about. No more misses. While they're listening, creep upstairs. <laughs> Follow me, I'll show you what I'm This is their room. Just a tick, I'll switch the light on. Ah. So this is the bridal chamber, eh? That's right. <laughs> Our Arthur's room. He expected to be moving into a new house. Ah, but he, he got let down, see? <laughs> He'll get let down again tonight if this <laughs> trick works. <laughs> ah, goodness springs, what a bed. I bet you're Arthur and I'll give it some more. <laughs> well, if you don't mind me saying so, I don't think yeah, you should. Shut your trap. Now, what was it you had in mind, Joe? Hey. Hey. Just look at Violet's nightdress. Great. <laughs> Short and it's see through. Yeah. Hey, hey, how do I look at it? Hey, oh, hey, hey, Mr. Thompson, Thompson please. Look, I, don't, I don't think you should look at that. One time a day, nobody got wet without his mates played a few tricks on him. It's all gone out when it's going away. Uh, let's have a look at a bed. Underneath. Huh? Hey, I'll tell you what we could do. What? Lift it out of the frame and set it just like that. So once the bridal pair got in, it collapsed. Hey, oh, Mr. Thompson, look, I, I don't know. No, think if you Arthur. don't shut up, I'll sack both you and Arthur. I can run that bloody projection room myself. Yeah, where's the players, Jeff? Oh, here. Oh, okay. <laughs> It'll go down with a bang once they get into bed. Well, hurry up then. Let's get downstairs before he finishes the song. Oh, no. Very nice compliment. Do, Arthur. He's got a lovely touch, the lad. Thank you. That was lovely, Mr. Finn. I didn't think you had it in you. No, neither did I. Oh, not quite as bad as I sound. They're as rough as I look, eh? You'd have a job to be. Bye. When you see a chance, let's slip out for a breath. All right, Arthur. Hey, you know, you've got a smashing voice, Mr. Finn. Oh, I had one slad in my younger days, but I sounded like a crow compared with my mate, Billy. Do you know, we'd go into any pub on a Saturday night, say, and if there was any singing going on, we challenge best bird to a singing match. A duet like, just for drinks. <laughs> Do we have to bring Billy up on this night of all nights? What? Why shouldn't I bring him up? Because nobody here knew him and no... You knew him, Lucy, and I knew him. Nobody else knew him, and I expect nobody else wants to hear about him. Hey, Dad, who was this Billy? Nobody. Don't say that, Lucy. It's not a nice way to put things. I was asking me Dad, Mum, not you. Yes, well... I was answering for him. Well, not for the first time, neither. What I've always wondered was now, this... Now, don't you drive me too far. Uh, come on, girls, uh, let's go into the kitchen to wash pots. Good idea. Now, get all the cups and saucers. Oh, it is my now, leave sitting. that to yeah. me. I'll yeah. bring the tray out. All right. You might get more That's than you bargained nice. for. Hey, what's up with her, Dad? How do I know? She's she's your mother. Hey, he sounds a bit of a rumman, this uh, Billy. Aye. Mr. Fitton. Oh, a decent lad. Never wore shoe leather. I'll tell you what, he was all-time champion at the elbow game, you know. Hey, what's the elbow game, Mr. Fitton? You don't know? Oh, sit you down here, lad, facing me. Oh, yeah. Elbows on the table, come on. What, like this? Aye. Each man grasp it to the hand. Oh, yeah, I've got it, yeah. Time for show. Come on. That's it. Grasp. Lovely night. Mm. Look at that moon. Ah, that's a pity we're not on the front at Blackpool. Do you know what I'd like, Vi? I'd like us to walk like this, hand in hand, all the way up to Rivington Pike. Oh, give over, Arthur. <laughs> I'm more honest. <laughs> oh, 
I love the silence, the, the night air, the stars up there. Oh, I'd love to get away from it all. At times I feel stifled, you know. Don't worry, we'll soon have a place of our own. I only hope my dad doesn't start snoring tonight. You can hear him through the wall. Now stop worrying, Arthur. I feel you've been tensed up all day. Yes, as a matter of fact, I have. He's... he's worse when he's had something to drink. It, it seems to set the whole house vibrating. <laughs> well, I shan't hear him. Now, I reckon we'd best be getting back. I'll have to say goodnight to me dad and me mum, hey, too. No, no, just a tick. We've got time for a little stop. After all, it is our wedding night. Mm. Oh, isn't it wonderful? In spite of we haven't gone away. Oh, I do love you, Arthur. You seem so different from all the others. Aye. Uh, and sometimes that's the bloody trouble. It makes a chap feel the odd one out. Down. You hear him? What a bloody help he's got. Push harder, Eddie. What are you talking about pushing, pushing, Anna? Get out, it's like a flea pushing. <laughs> now, watch this while I put pressure on it. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. 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 Hey, where'd you get all your strength from? About 40 years with a great big shovel, that's where I get it from. Oh, the knuckles. <laughs> now then, Jeff, you having a go? Not likely. Look at them maulers. Ah, oh, well, they kept you for many of you. <laughs> Anybody else before I rise from the table? Oh, Any more me. challenges, oh, eh? Oh, me. I've had enough. Oh, 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 we just had a stroll. Oh, you're yeah. just in time, Arthur. Your dad's throwing a challenge. Hey, hey, that's an idea. Yeah, I'll bet you're Arthur will lick you, Mr. Fitton. Oh, don't be daft. Our Arthur. You what? You don't know his strength. What's this? The elbow game. Now, what chance is Arthur get? What chance has he got? He's got wrists like steel, oh, that's all. I'll be in the back kitchen, Arthur, all, all right. right. Yeah, what, right about the, what about the challenge, Arthur? Uh, uh, no, I, I don't think I'll bother. Uh, don't forget, he's got another challenge coming tonight. Yeah, <laughs> he's saving his strength like a wonder. <laughs> Mr. Thompson, if you don't mind. Uh, uh, sorry, oh, Ezra. Yeah. Well, it <laughs> seems I've licked the lot. Hey, you know, if only you're Arthur. Ah, Arthur's Arthur bit... chicken. Oh, who says I am? All right, come on, I'll take you on. Oh, <laughs> hey, Arthur, come, on. <laughs> come on, hey, come on, let's get your jacket off, Arthur. Right, now, now, come on, up with your sleeves, come on. Hey, hey, they're in for a shock, aren't they? Oh, come on. Two hundred, is it? Right. You know what? You're on, right? A pound to ten bob. Oh, right, 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 sit you down there, Arthur. Right. Come on, face it down. That's it. Come on, Dad. Now get your get your elbow on the table. Come on, Dad. That's it. Get your hands together. Hey, now, steady on. Don't grab me on that, quick. Oh, well, come on. Grab mine, then. Well, how can I when it's burning in your mitt? Fair play is bonny play, Mr. Oh. Fit. Now, leave go. Now, mm. now I'm the referee, then. Now, take fresh holes. One palm clasped fairly in the opponent's grip. That's right. right. I'm right. sure you're that's both it. satisfied. Whose right. side are you I'll on? I'll tell you, I'm the referee. I'm impartial. Oh, right. I'll see as you stay that way. Come on, let's get up with it. Mom, it'll seem funny saying goodnight to you and Dad. My little girl. What's up? Well, it's a big moment for another love, a daughter's wedding night. Of course, most of them in these days know more when they get wed than their mothers will ever know. Oh, Val, it's not like that. She's an innocent. Just look at her. Mom. Oh. She does look young for her age, bless her. Hey, Liz, go wipe your eyes on my tea cloth. Give it here if you're not going to dry it pot. I feel there's so much I could have told you, love. Oh, Mom, don't be silly. I doubt if talk helps all that much. You've, you've got to learn from bitter experience. Yes, we've all got it to go through. I, I wish you wouldn't go on about things. I've read One lots... encounter with a chap will tell you more than a library can. Oh, go on. It's not that, love, but... When a married woman looks back on her life, there's so much she'd have done different if only she'd known. If only a mother had told her. But our Violet's always seemed so close to her dad. It's only natural, son to mother, daughter to father. Yes, but still, he won't have you to turn to now. You sound glad to get shut of me. Not that, love. Your mother's glad to see you married to a good husband. Of course I am. But I'll give you one good tip, love. There's only one weapon a woman can hold over a man, and I'll tell you what it is, in case you don't know. No, you won't. Poor child's already blushing. Beside, listen to all that din in there. Hey, come on, 
Let's go and see what's happening. Who's down a bit harder? Ah, oh, you've got Ezra Lick. Yeah, off me dad's not licked yet. No, but he's next door to it. Go on, Ezra. Back right. before the film. Oh, hey, what's going on here? Come on, you don't know what it is. It's my dad and our Arthur, Mum. At the elbow game. Hey, look at them. Hey, look at the swimmers going out on dad's forehead. They must have been at it a good five minutes, and neither will give an inch each way. Yeah, but Arthur's nearly got him down on the table. Oh, come on, no, 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 no. Now stop it, that's enough. No, no, don't interfere, Mrs. Fitton, please. It's a tough contest. Uh, you just need one more oh, push, come on. I'm back, pressure. me dad. Hey, come on, don't dad. Leave it you licked old others, now lick him. He can't. Hey, come on, Arthur, you got him beat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how's like? <laughs> I'm a good two inches off the table yet. Come on, that's it. Oh, I knew you'd be for him. Anyway, here goes. Yes. Look out, lad! I can take it. it. Ezra's coming back into the bedding. Oh, He's forcing out the back. Oh, come on, Ezra! Oh, come on, Dad, oh, I've got ten bob on you. Oh, look at Ezra's muscles sticking out. Oh, come, come on, on, Arthur. Careful, Arthur, don't hurt yourself. Uh, she don't want to come crack on, the bed beside her. Uh, <laughs> Mr Johnson, if you don't mind. Sorry, Ezra, just my bad. Oh, come on, shove away. Uh, Come on, Yes, this is winning! Hey! 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 I don't know. Sometimes we don't seem to hit it off, really. Hey, hey, here, here. We'd best all be going. Look at that clock. Hey, Molly, give us a hand. We can oh, call well, yes, yeah, well, well. Violet. Yes, Dad. Sure. We've got to be off. How's my little girl? Yeah, I'm all right, Dad. I feel a bit strange, like. They almost seem empty without you. Now, don't go on, Dad. You know how I am. Hey, you two. What? What's up now? Are you going to stand there hugging all night? No, what's yeah. wrong, Mum? I was only telling Dad. Never mind what you were telling him. Your husband's waiting for you. Me what? <laughs> Say, Dad, I think Mum's jealous. Well, it's coming to something when a man can't give hug to his own child. I tell you, she's not a child anymore. She's a married woman. I can hardly believe it. Neither can I. Then you'd better start trying or you'll be in for a shock. Now, coats. Come on, everybody. Oh, yeah, I've got my Get your coats. Have you got mine? Oh, yeah. uh, why don't you and Bartlett slip up now, eh? Come on, Violet. Hey, I said, Violet. Go in by by his eye. Mr. Thompson. Oh, sorry, is it? Uh, good night, Violet. Good night and uh, sweet dreams, Mr. <laughs> Thompson. Oh, all right, is it? Good night, Violet. Good night, Mr. Fitton. Hey, Violet, love. What about a kiss? Good night. Oh. Hey, hey, you're on a bridegroom. Yeah. Oh. 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 Hey, I like that. Oh. Uh, good night, everybody. Good night. Nighty night. Nighty night. Is it? Is there? What's left in that barrel? Never mind the barrel. You're oh. coming home with me. Uh, Come don't on now. push me around just because you're me old woman, is it? Help yourself, Joe. Right. Lucy wants a word with me. Uh. What is it, Lucy? Nothing good. I can see with your face. You call yourself a father. What have I done now? Did you have to beat a lad like that? On his wedding night in front of Violet and everybody, couldn't you have given way just for once? It were not but a game. Only a game. You know how the young folk take things to heart. But will you stop keep picking me up over what I do and the daft things that I say? What counts is what a man feels inside him, in his heart. Well, the world can't see. How do we know what's in your heart? Well, you would if only you'd think sometimes. You know, Lucy, as we were struggling there, face to face over that table, you know who he suddenly reminded me of? The face and the grip of his hand. And at that time, a, a strange feeling come over me. My lad, I thought... And then you shouted for him to lick me, and you know what happened? He stopped pushing. I felt him. He, he, he refused to beat me. I, I, I could have cried, Lucy. Do you think I hurt his feelings? I keep telling you. You're always hurting him. Aye. Well, the odd thing is, you see, beyond lad is the last thing in the world I'd want to hurt. He's nearer to me than my own flesh and blood. He is your own flesh and blood. Oh, of course he is. He's my son. What am I talking about? Yeah. Must be the drink, love. Uh, aye. I'll call good night to him. Right. Arthur. Good night. Good night. Good night, son. Good night, Mr. Fitton. 
Good night. What's he say? I think it was Violet. Oh. I try to do right in my heart. Somehow it has a way of turning out wrong. Oh, isn't it nice? Was this your room, Arthur? Yeah. Well, for years now. Oh, I do like it. All your books. I didn't know you liked all that much poetry. <laughs> Your records and your tape recorder. <laughs> I feel in the road a bit. Oh, don't be daft. Oh, Arthur, roses. Are they for me? Who else? Just smell at them, aren't they lovely? You think of the nicest things. Well, I thought they might drown the smell of the tannery. It sometimes comes in at night. Now, don't start worrying just because you're in your own home. I know how it is. My, uh, my mum put this little screen in, Vi. Oh, how nice. Oh, she thought you might like to, uh... Well, it's handy if, if you want to change, like. She's put a bowl and water as well. Uh, I mean, in case... Uh, well, I mean, there is always the bathroom, but... Well, why don't you start taking me things off? Excuse me, I, I'll go behind it. All right. D just call me if there's anything you need. Oh, I think I've got everything. Oh, your mother has made it nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit pokey, but... Oh! 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 Bye. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Did I scare you sticking me head around like that? It's all right, Arthur. I just wanted to do it was for the minute. You know how you are. <laughs> what was it? I, I was going to say, you wouldn't like a little music, would you? I, I mean, I put it on very quiet. Is it not too late? Oh, no, no, nobody will hear, only us. Say, just a whisper of Beethoven. I thought it might rinse out the... Uh... Put it on. Put it on, Arthur, while I'm getting ready for bed. Yeah, all right. It's the second movement from the Emperor. I I'll start it just before the piano comes in. It's very quiet. They say music soothes the savage beast. Uh, the breast, darling. What did you say? Oh, uh, I said breast. Did you? Uh, not beast. Music hath charms to soothe the savage breast, to <laughs> soften rocks or bend a knotted oak. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, would you pass me my night hmm? I forgot it. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. There you are. Over the top. Thank you. I say, isn't it lovely, this music? Uh, you know something, Violet? I sometimes feel I understand Beethoven better than I do my own dad. I suppose it's only natural. Your dad's there in the flesh. No. Uh, well, I'd best get my gear off. Uh, bye. Yes, Arthur? I love you very much, you know. I don't say it very often, but it... It kind of wells up in me. And I love you. Can I come out now? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, just to take it. I just want to get me. Uh... Yeah. yeah. You can come out, Vi. Oh, Arthur. Vi. Oh, Vi, darling. You look. You look. Oh, come here, my darling. Arthur. Oh. Let's just rest here for a moment. Yes, let's. Oh, Vi. At last, darling. Oh. oh! What's oh, up? The bed is, is, is giving way. What? Oh! Oh! Oh, bloody hell! Arthur, are you all right? Oh, dear. Oh, God. Hey, Arthur! Are you all right, Arthur? Are you all right, Arthur? <laughs> Arthur, you look so funny. Shut your bloody mouth! You're as daft as the rest of them. Arthur, come to bed, will you? Shh, shh. Don't speak so loud. We don't want your mum and dad to hear. Why don't you come back to bed? Oh, I can't sleep, Vi. You know how it is. I seem to have been awake for hours. At least you'd be warm lying here beside me. Yeah, but I, I seem to get a, a tingling, I, I don't know, just under my skin. It makes me feel I can't rest. Must be nerves or something. Hey, why don't you go to the doctor and get some sleeping pills? Oh, I'd look a right, Charlie, wouldn't I? Not been married six weeks yet and going asking him for sleeping pills. 
Most folks have a job keeping awake at that stage, as I gather. They're all on pet pills. Arthur, shall I go downstairs and make you a nice hot drink? Hot milk or something? Oh, no, no, thanks, fine. Well, they might hear you. Oh, I get a feeling that the old bloody world's listening sometimes just outside our bedroom door. It's just your imagination. Oh, I hope so. I know how you feel. You get all tensed up listening for every sound. Yeah, that's it. Y you know, Vi, I had some daft notion that I'd only got to get married and my life would be transformed. I, I fancy myself in that new house. We'll get another, no, don't I worry. I, I, I fancy myself gardening. I love anything like that. And this job at the cinema would have been all right. I, I could have filled my days in nicely. And I've come to feel that it's all a flaming daydream and that I'll never do any of the things I've set me out on. You will, Arthur. Don't lose heart. Here, come and sit on the bed beside me. I'll be all right. That's better. You've got just that bit more in you than most other men. Aye. Well, all I can say is it's taken a hell of a long time to come out. No, I mean you've more feeling. You're more of a thinking sort. Oh, no, no, where, where does thinking get you? Not far, I've found. Unless for these books and records, well, they seem to have put ideas into me that I can't carry out. But look at the pleasure they give yeah. you. Listen, darling, I, I sometimes wish that I was more like my father. Now, he's never read a book in his life. You get a glimpse of another world and... It makes you unhappy with your own. Well, don't give up and don't change. That's the worst thing you can do. I suppose it's still the same. You're still worried about, well, you know, what we talked about so much on Sunday. Oh, uh, yes, I, I suppose I am. Well, to be honest, it's been obsessing my mind. I, I can't think of anything else night and day. I, I feel at times I'm going mad. Well, I want to tell you, it's not made any difference to me. I'll always love you just the same. You know, Violet, you seem to have been worrying a bit lately. Well, I mean, it's strange it should go on all this time. Although I know it'll come right. Aye. You said that on the first night. No, no, not the first. That was... That was a right fiasco, that was. The old day was one long ordeal for me. Then the bed crashing in. It's gone on now the same way for weeks. I keep telling you, love, I'll love you just the same if it never happens. Uh, you're only saying that to comfort me. I'm not. Sometimes I get the feeling that it's a lot of fuss about nothing. Oh, I say, it's funny, though, when you come to think of it. I mean, I had such a job holding you off while we were engaged. Yeah, and I I've come to think now that that was a mistake, that, that, that I should have insisted on got my own way with you. I see your point now, but... Hey, remember the New Year's Eve party? Yeah. Do you know, I couldn't look my dad in the face when I got home. Nor my mum, neither. So it's just as well I stopped you when I did. I know it's look, considered old-fashioned, daft in these days. Well, but... it would have broken the ice. Ah, might have done a lot more. There's always that danger. And then we couldn't have had a white wedding. Yeah. Now we could have another one in a 12 month, the way things are going on. Arthur, have you no friend you could talk it over oh, with? give over. It's not a thing you can tell your best friend. Or say we were to go to the marriage guidance people. Oh, no, I'm not going near that place. You know how they are in this town if anybody saw you. Blimey, they'd never live it down. They're right snooping lot of people. And if they'd just got one whiff of it, they'd be stopping you in the street asking you, had you managed it yet? Come into bed, Arthur. Uh, yes, I, I think it will. <coughs> Have the... Have the girls at work not asked you? I mean... Uh... Well, you know how they are. But I've let them see I'm not going to discuss my married life with them. No, promise me, Vi, darling, that you'll never breathe a word to a soul. Of course I promise you. Why should I tell anybody? I'd never lift me head again if it got out. I don't, I don't know why, but... Turn the light out. Yes, all right. Oh, that's better. Nice and soft, the darkness. Oh, but I feel weary. Now, that feels better, doesn't uh, it? You are quite cold. You can put your feet on me. Come on. I'm, I'm sorry for getting so itchy, Vi. It'll all come right. It must. I love you, Arthur. Well, I love you, darling. Oh, Arthur. Violet. <sighs> <sighs> Arthur. 
Oh, it's your dad. What, 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 what about him? Can you hear him? He's getting up. What do you have to bring him up for just at that moment? Because I know you don't like if he you is. You spoil the moment. You put me off. Yes, go on. Blame it on me. Go on, blame it on me. <clears throat> hey, up, Dad. Finish your breakfast quick and I'll run you to gas works on the back of me bike. <laughs> oh, thanks all the same, lad. I'd rather get there in one piece. <laughs> Windy. <laughs> hey, Mum. Yes, love. Will you tell our Arthur to leave them complimentary tickets for us? I'm taking Violet to the pictures tonight. And her husband has to provide the tickets. You wouldn't take me, Uncle. <laughs> I wouldn't take you if they paid <laughs> Go on, me. you cheeky monkey giraffe. And in case you should think me skinny, I'm taking her to the motorbike dance on Saturday. Ooh. A quid each. What about that? <laughs> mm. God bless, love. Hey, be careful on that bike. Godspeed, lad. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ladders can look after number one. You mean our Jeff? Aye. I expect most men are good at that, if they can get away with it. Now, what about our Arthur? When is he going to get a place of his own for him and Violet? Shh, they might, dear, you. Well. He'll get a place, all in good time. Oh, well, that's your motto, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it was my mother's before me. Here, put your sandwiches in your pocket. Aye, John. <clears throat> He'll have to stir himself more, though. Get moving, get cracking, pester folk. That's the only way to get a house these days. You know as well as I do. Our Arthur's not a pesterer. Yeah. He's, he's got his pride, all as has had. I was thinking, young Violet, she seems to have gone very quiet-like. Doesn't look you in the face the same. Hey, have you noticed that? Mm. Hey, shh. I think that's her coming downstairs. The girl's not happy, you know. Uh, morning, Violet. Look. Morning. <laughs> oh, Sorry, Mr. Fitton, I thought you'd gone. I heard Geoffrey go. Don't worry, Violet. Love, I'm off in a minute. I'll go back upstairs. It's all right. No, I'll be down later. Goodbye now, Mr. Fitton. You're blessed, love. Here. Don't forget your bacon sandwich. No, oh, she's not happy. I can sense it. Well, she's got a good husband. I tell you, she's not happy. Well, what do you expect me to do? Here. Fasten your coat for you. Yeah, and pull one way and another between a lot of you. Well, your mother and the old man here. What else do you expect? That lad's worried, Ezra. He wants to get home together and he, he don't quite know how to go about it. You know, Mrs Piper seemed to rush that marriage a bit. They, mm. they, they could have waited when they lost that house. He, he can't find his cell. Well, to rather then. Go on, you best be off. Aye. Lucy, um, you let me know if he needs any cash. I mean, I'd got a bob or two at one side. Yeah, I'll let you I'd know. I'd like to see the lad short, but... Don't tell him I offered her out like that. Why not? Well, we don't seem to be on that sort of understanding. Right, I'll be off then. But it might embarrass him. When you know how he is, he never asked me for anything. So pretend it's from you, but I'll let you have it on sly, eh? I'll say. Well, <laughs> go on, Cosby. Aye. I, uh, I mean, I could stand surety or anything for him if it come to it, but don't let him know. I'll see. Skip gutter. Aye. So long. <laughs> I mean, I've an idea how it might be with him. I've been young myself. <laughs> Well, uh, ta-ra, then. Ta-ra, Godspeed you. Aye, uh, ta-ra. <laughs> hey, dear me. It's a funny life, one way and another. <laughs> Sounds like our Arthur's come down. Is that you, love? Uh, has he gone? Your dad? Yeah, he's just gone after his bus. Uh, can I go you some breakfast? Oh, uh, no, thanks, Mum. I'm not hungry. J just some tea. Oh, well... I, uh, go on, maybe a slice of toast, if you will. When your dad was first married, he, he could eat a man of his horse for breakfast. <laughs> hey, where, where's Violet? Oh, she's in the bathroom. She's got the day off, you know. She's going over to see her mum and dad. Oh. Hey, didn't you hear something about a dad knew a chap who owned a cottage up near Reservoir? Did you go and see about it? Uh, no, I, I didn't. That girl needs home of her own. Yeah, I know, but... Oh, Leah, let's have oh. this off. <laughs> Now, what have you done that for? You won't get home sitting on your backside listening to music. Oh, I'll go back upstairs. You then. won't. You'll sit there and suck this tea I'm making and, and eat your toast of done. Best butter on it. Oh, you're a good lad, love, but you bottle your feelings up too much and one day they might bottle you up. I know. I once had it happen to me. Now, let me pour you a nice cup of tea out. Mum, you're right. I, I should have gone after that house, but... Oh, I, I don't know. I seem to have lost heart. No, I know, love, but... Well, we all lose heart at times, but we have to keep on going, not, not where it lickers. Do you know, I'll, I'll tell you something, Mother. I could put my head on your lap this minute and have a damn good cry. 
Well, then, why don't you love you? Oh. You're not too big to crown your mother's lap, you know. And I'd look a right flaming Mary, I wouldn't have anybody came in and caught Go me. On. <laughs> it's only me. <laughs> Just in time, love. <laughs> caught you what? Crying on my mother's lap. Hey, it's not that bad. Love, it's nice to see you. Come in, take your things off. I've just finished. Where's my dad? He should be back soon. He's looking forward to seeing you and having a good chat. He has missed you. Will you have a cigarette? No, thanks, Mum. You know I don't. No, well, I don't like to see a woman smoking. I don't really. But it eases my nerves. Why? There's nothing wrong, is there, Mum? No. Not really. Well, it's your dad. How do you mean? I don't know. Have you been rowing? No, he's not one to row, as you know. I sometimes wish he were. He harbours things. It's not anything you can point out, but he seems coolish-like. Hey, but what are we talking about me for? What about yourself? Any word of a place? I mean, did Arthur go to see that chap? He hasn't had chance yet. He mustn't let things slide. Anyway, are you feeling... All right. Yeah, of course I am. Why? Well, nothing. I thought you looked tired when you came in. She's not getting enough sleep, I thought to myself. <laughs> but what can you expect with newlyweds these days? Everywhere you turn, it seems to be sex, sex, sex. Anyway, try and be careful. How do you mean, Mum? Careful? Careful, lie, you know. Careful, you don't start something before you've got your own place. Do you mean a baby? Well, what else can you start? We won't. Why? Have you been to the... I mean, are you on the... Um... No, I'm not, not yet. But we won't, so let's change the subject, eh? Oh. Married six weeks and knows more than her own mother. Well, I'll just go and get the chip pan going. You're staying to lunch, aren't you? Mum, don't be offy with me, please. I only asked you to stop warning me about having a baby. Why? What's different about you from anybody else? Nothing, nothing at all. Do you like a glass of sherry, love? Eh? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't mind. I'll join you. I find the odd glass gives me an appetite. Now, what is it, love? What have you to tell me? How's your sherry? Nothing, Mum. Cheers. Cheers. Yes, there is. There's something. I can see it in your face. Well, promise. Promise you won't tell anybody, Mum. Well, of course I won't. You're my daughter, aren't you? Mmm. This is nice, Sherry. Now, what is it, love? Go on, don't be shy. After all, I am your mother. Yeah, I prefer the sweet variety. Well, Mum, nothing's happened yet. You know. No, I don't know. How were they? What do you mean? Nothing... You know, nothing that could make me have a baby. Hey, Nothing at all? You don't mean to say... I mean... Well, you know what I mean. You don't mean... I said nothing had happened. You mean you and Arthur haven't... Not really. Oh, Mum, don't talk about it. No, I'm serious, love. You mean not even once? I don't think so. What do you mean you don't think so? Shh, Mum, my dad might come. You mean Arthur hasn't... Now, don't you cross-examine me. I swore I wouldn't breathe a word. I've told you all I'm telling you. Oh, good grief. I can't believe... You mean... Uh, I, well, I just can't. Oh, don't stare at me like that, Mum. I don't want your pity. Sorry, love. The loop slipped out. But fancy that. I can't imagine it. Well, I thought things were bad enough with me, but... It's not all that serious, is it? It could ruin your entire married life. It's as simple as that. I don't believe you. Oh, excuse me. I must have another cigarette. Yes. Yes, your health. Your, your nerves. You'll be... A... How could it? I mean... Now, listen, love. It doesn't mean more than that when it's going normally. Well, I mean, in a way, if you follow me, I mean, folk don't give it a second thought. If you see what I mean, it, it's like a, a fuss over nothing. But 
If it never happens. Oh. What? What if it never happens? Well, everything builds up. Folk get on one another's nerves. It's all tension. I say, you haven't told anybody, have you? Oh, no. I wouldn't dream of mentioning our private life. You're right, scandal, if it got out, you know. Yakety yak all over the town. But why, Mum, a private thing like that? Now, don't ask me why. It just would. The more private a thing is, the more they talk. Folk would look on you as... as... Lepers, stop, Mom. Over a thing like that? But it's not the thing itself. It's nothing that. It's what lies behind it. Four would call it unnatural. And they always think the worst. What worst? Oh, Mom, do stop. Listen, do you know that Catholics can't have a divorce except for that one thing? Then they just annul the marriage if that's not happened. He's not a proper husband yet, and you're Stop not Stop it, Mum. I'm going. I won't listen. It's true. You're married in name only. How oh, can you say anything? No. Hello. Oh, hello, everybody. It's me, Violet Love, Liz. What's up? What's Just this? wait till you hear. Oh, Dad, Dad. What's wrong with the child? Ask her. You just ask her. Ask your little girl. Oh, oh Dad. Calm yourself, love. What is it, Liz? Just wait till you hear. I was just cleaning it till Cornet and I thought I'd have a blow. There's a shop in town gives good prices for... Yeah, I couldn't sell this, Lucy. It's not mine to sell. Do you know who it belongs to? Funny he never came back for it. Oh, Lucy, somebody at the door. So I hear. Uh, wonder who it can be at this time of night. Well, I don't ask him any if you can help it. Come in. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Ezra, it's Mr. and Mrs. Piper call round. Come in, come on. Take us as you find us. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Piper, what a pleasant surprise. I hope we haven't disturbed you. Not at all. <laughs> What's uh, seldom is wonderful, as they say. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> come on, sit down. Uh, have that chair, Mr. Piper. Lucy, take Mr. Piper's coat. All right, here, give us your coat. <laughs> Make yourselves at home. Uh, thank you. <laughs> you are alone. I mean, nobody else in the house. No, I... Well, our Jeff's taking Violet to pictures, and, of course, our Arthur's working. They're just the two of us. Good. We were banking on you being alone. Oh? Excuse us, butting in like this. I was saying to Leslie, if you'd been on the phone, we'd have rung you. Uh, what about? Put kettle on, Lucy. Oh, we've just this minute finished our tea, you might say. Oh, I sure. Eh? Uh, positive, Mrs. It's Spitton. no trouble. Not well, just now, thanks. Put it on, Lucy. Well, you don't But say. thanks very much all the same. <clears throat> well, I... I expect you're wondering what's brought us round. Oh, no. <laughs> Shall I go on, Leslie, or would you like to take over? You carry on. You've got it all off. There's no wrong, is there? Uh, is there? Wait till you hear, Mrs Fitton. That's oh. why I thought we should call a shop meeting to talk it over. To talk what over? <laughs> you know, our Violet it came round to see us today. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, well, we'd an intimate chat, her and I, and it came out quite by chance. What a shock I got. What came out? Our Violet cried in my arms, Mrs Fitton. No. Nerves. It was only nerves. But she's got pluck. She'll see it through whilst there's a ray of hope. Oh, sorry. I don't quite follow. <laughs> it's about their marriage. Leslie, uh, would you? No, carry on. Same as I say. You've what, got it what about the marriage? Would you believe it, Mrs. Fitton? It hasn't uh, taken on yet. Hmm? If you see what I mean. Hmm? You know. Hey, oh, get off. <laughs> you don't mean. Hey, you don't mean. Dear? Exactly what I said, Mrs. Fitton. It hasn't taken on. Oh, but that can't be true. No, but it seems it is. Well, 
Well, I never hear it. Hey, well, that explains a lot. And no wonder they haven't been sleeping well. well. Same as I say. If it's not one thing keeping a body awake, it's another. Just a minute. Not taken on. Not taken on what? They haven't taken the plunge yet. You... What plunge? There's only one plunge as far as I know. Oh, <laughs> just look at him. Ever see a chap more mystified? <laughs> Uh, their marriage hasn't found itself yet, Mr. Fitton. Hmm? Oh, it's still not with it. In other words, Ezra, let's say it hasn't gelled. Gelled? How gelled? <sighs> there you've got a chap as wants to know everything and still knows nout. Let's put it a, another way, Ezra. Let's say they've not suited each other yet. For <laughs> the word, I mean, you can't get more suited than that. Mr. Fitton. Oh, oh, for goodness sake, somebody tell him straight down. Our Violet, she's still as if she were a single young girl. She's still in, intact. In intact? Intact, Janet. Still a Virgin. Thank you, Mrs. Fitton. I was trying to avoid that word. Hey, you don't mean to say... It. That's exactly what she does mean to say. But does that mean... Does it mean her, Arthur? Hasn't... Apparently not. It appears he hasn't gone about it properly. Oh, and neither of them have, for that matter. You actually mean that our Arthur and Violet haven't? No, they haven't. Get off. After six weeks, they... Oh, my well, God. Well. Taking Penny long enough to drop. Yeah, well, I, I don't know what to say. Well, in that case, it might be as well if you kept your mouth shut. Oh, I understand just how Mr. Fitton feels. I'm glad somebody understands him. It's more than I've ever been able to. And why you should look all let up, I don't know. Just think of the disgrace, Lucy. Just think of it. What disgrace? Suppose it were to leak out at the gas works. <laughs> oh, ex excuse me. It was what? the way he said it. <laughs> Leak out of the gas works. <laughs> now, who the hell cares about the flaming old gas works? I do. I've worked there for 29 years and I want to go on working there. What if this got out? Well, I, I couldn't face my workmates of a morning. I'd go and drown myself. I would, honest. To think a son of mine can't prove his manhood. Is that how you prove it? <laughs> Fancy. No, oh, I sympathise with Mr. Fitton. He's got a good name and he wants to keep it. But the question is, what are we going to do? Knowing our Arthur and your Violet, bless them, I've, I've a feeling they'll both come to the cake and milk all in good time. If he hasn't come to it in six weeks. Yes, let's face it, the longer a man goes on without... Liz, let's stick to the point. But what all right, about... Leslie, let me deal with this. Now... Say I had another good talk with our Violet, uh, and Mr. Fitton were to take Arthur on one side. Me? Talk about a thing like that? Besides, I've never had a proper talk with a lad in my life. What a nice thing for a father to say. Well, I never know what to say to him, Lucy. Doesn't know what to say to his own son, and then he wonders why he's... Excuse me asking, but has your Arthur knocked about much with girls? No. Our Arthur never was a knocker about her. He's, he's very fond of music, and, and they like to listen to his record player and to read. Ah, bloody chamber music, as they call it. I've got a feeling that somewhere that's behind this little lot turns on that dinner and he sh shots his mind to real life. Oh, give or. Uh, how many marriages go off with a bang right from start, eh? <laughs> I'm talking from experience. Oh, are you? Well, I might be no Romeo, but there's no daughter queer about me. What do you mean by that remark? Now, don't start. I mean that son of yours has shamed me. All his reading, his fancy music and whatnot, and when it comes to it, he can't fulfil his married duties. Well, I'd say there was something very odd and queer about that lot. Would you now? Oh. Mrs Piper, tell me your opinion. W would you say there was anything odd or queer? About a chap that went on his honeymoon and took his mate with him. His mate? You mean his pal? Aye. I'd say it was a rum carry-on. <laughs> well, that's certainly one place where you don't need your chum. Not on your honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, are you referring to me? Well, 
You're the only chap I know who's done it. But I didn't take him on the honeymoon, Lucy. All right, then, you didn't take him. But we all three travelled on the same train. Well, what else could we do? He's been my best man. We were going to Blackpool. He was going to Blackpool. You didn't want for Billy to go and sit out in the compartment all by himself, did you? Then at Blackpool, we all three got out at train together and got into a cab together. You didn't want for Billy to go and find a cab and go off on his own, did you? And if you did, you'd... Well, why didn't you say so? Then the trio went trooping into the same boarding house together. Lucy, you surely didn't want for Billy to go off and find a place on his own. A lad who'd never set foot in a boarding house in his life. Then that night, Mrs Piper, after tea, we all went off dancing at Tower together. But Lucy... You surely didn't expect me to tell Billy to go off on his own. Uh, but, Mr. Fitton, you were on your honeymoon. I know, but it were Bolton Holiday Week. And ever since we left school, we'd spent every holiday together. I couldn't have left Billy on his own in town without a mate. And having brought him, I had to do right by him. I thought you understood that, Lucy. I thought you were with me. But don't you understand, Mr. Fitton, that marriage is something sacred to a woman? Aye, and so is friendship to a man. I mean, you can't change your nature overnight just because you've got wed. Every morning, Mrs. Piper, just fancy. Two men and one woman sitting down to breakfast at the honeymoon table. Oh. I, I didn't know where to look. I, I couldn't face for. Lucy, did you want for Billy to go and sit at the table alone? The food would have bloody choked me. The lad I was born next door to shared the same dolly tub with in his mother's backyard before we could walk proper. Went to school with, went to work with. You didn't marry a savage, you know. He had his bedroom. We had ours. What more did you want? It's you. Talking about things looking odd and queer. Well, I'm only saying that must have looked a bit queer and in more ways than one. It'd have looked a damn sight more queer leaving my best friend to sit on his own. Eh, hey, Mr Piper? Well, uh, being as he was there in the first place... That first Sunday morning you were out of bed like a shot. Me and Billy, you said, had fixed up for a before breakfast walk by at sea. <laughs> Off you went, without as much as a kiss. Oh. I never have been one to take liberties. But, Mr Fitton, she was your wife. Aye, but you can still show respect. Kiss a girl in bed of a morning, how's a chap to know it's what she wants? But you'd slept with her all night, Mr Fitton. I slept with my brother Charlie for years, but I never damn well kissed him. There I was, alone in bed. And I heard him go off whistling down the street. Well, where's the arm, Lucy? Where's the arm? But I'll never forget that first morning. Me and Billy, wearing our new brown shoes, smooth, fine leather. I remember how we strolled across sand and we, we come to the edge of the sea, and that air tasted like wine. Next thing I felt this frothy ripple of tide come over my new brown shoes. And when I looked down, I... I saw it roll off both our uppers like water off a duck's back. <laughs> they were that well polished. And just then, sun must have come out. For when I looked down, I could see all these shining drops of sea water glistening away on lovely brown leather. I've never forgotten that. It was a big moment in my honeymoon. The big moment, Mr. Fitton? Big or little, it were a moment of beauty. There aren't that many in this life that you can afford to forget them. Here, I, I expect you could do with a drink. Uh, I mean, a proper one. I've come over dry myself. I'll just slip off to Thoff Licence at corner. Uh... Lucy, it's 28 years since all that happened. Yet you never told me till now how you felt about it. Well, you drew it out of me. Going on about our Arthur. That lad's no more queer as you call it, than you and Billy were. Hey, but I never said qu queer. I mean, I never meant that sort. The had been. Uh, who would he have got it from? From me and you and from nature. And it's a father's duty to protect a lad like that, not, not turn on him. Uh, oh. Don't get upset, Mrs Fitton. We all know Arthur's all right. Mm. Well, I'll be off. <clears throat> By the way, Ezra, what happened to him? Eh? Who? Uh, oh. Well, Billy, of course. You know. Ask Lucy. She saw him last. I got quite interested in him. Who? Oh, Billy? <laughs> oh. Oh, well. He used to come round most evenings when we were first married. He, he was very good with his hands. 
It was just like one of the family. Then it chanced to come round this one evening when Ezra happened to be working overtime and I was distempering the back bedroom, so I thought I'd get Billy to walk ladder for me. Oh, I was only a girl, you might say. Nineteen and... Oh. You know what you are at that age. Yes, very impressionable. That's it. I'm fond of a bit of fun. Mm. Uh, I don't know what got into me, but <laughs> I kept splashing him with brush. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember it. It was a very warm evening, you know, when they say the breeze is coming from Africa. It all comes back to me now. Yes. Go on. You are? You were doing the back bedroom with Billy. Well, oh. Oh, yeah. Well, he went off suddenly. Do you know, we've, uh, we've never seen him from that day to this. But didn't Ezra go and seek him out? Oh, oh I, I wouldn't let him. I've, I've been sorry since. But you know how it is with a woman. The home comes first. Hey, but... Our little home seemed empty without him. And next thing, we heard Billy had chucked up his job and gone to work in one of them there motor car factories in South. Oh, it broke Ezra's heart, it did. Uh, I say, uh, I think I were a bit hard on poor chap back there, bringing the honeymoon up well, like. A little bit. <laughs> but what about... Uh... Well, as luck would have it, it... It must have been about that time I started off with our Arthur and, oh, well, God's blessing in a way. In fact, there's times when I look at our Arthur and, of course, it's all just in the imagination, like. Jeffrey. What? Behave yourself. Behave myself? What are you talking about? I know we're in the back row, but that doesn't mean... I've only got my arm round your shoulder. Bloody hell, give a chap a chance. You don't know what folk would think. But, well, if it's only in a brotherly way, I don't mind. Do me a favour, Violet. I know who you are. It's just that I feel uncomfortable at the pictures if I haven't got my arm round a bird. I see. It's like that, is it? Well, all right, then. <laughs> That's a nice drop of beer, Ezra. I'll tell you what I'll do. Mm -hmm. I'll ring her Uncle Fred up tonight. My brother, you know, he was at the wedding. Aye, but what can your Fred do? He can advise her. But he's a bachelor. Oh, well, many a good singing teacher can't sing a note. He's a physiotherapist. It might make up an herbal mixture for our Arthur. Aye, make one up for you at the same time. But your Fred's not a qualified man. What do you mean? He's an SRN and a member of the osteopaths. What more do you want? I mean qualified in a medical sense. The MD, you know, that sort of thing. Right, carry on. Keep on talking. May I've done. Good, because I haven't started. How do you mean? It's you. You don't care. You've never wanted that child to grow up. Hey, but wait now, a don't minute. interrupt me. She's a young woman, but you will go on treating her like a schoolgirl. What about her hair, eh? What about that? What's got into you now? I'll tell you the reason you're so upset. It's guilt. Guilt? What are you talking about? What am I to feel any guilt about? You egged our Violet into an early marriage before she was ready, before they had a home. I wanted to see the girl happy. You wanted to get her away from our home. You thought I'd be that lonely, I'd turn to you. Leslie... Now, don't go too far. Oh, hey, Mr. Piper, don't say anything you'll be sorry for. What about her hair? The girl had a lovely head of her. She used to often get me to plait it. It were drawing her strength away, I tell you. Anyway, it's not healthy for a girl to get too close to her father. It's coming to something when a girl can't love her own dad. Aye, well, love has come under suspicion. But I, I see what you mean, Mrs. Piper. You, you don't want him to get... Too attached. But what about her hair? She took our violet to the hairdresser and had it all cut off, then permed or something. I hardly knew the girl when she came in. I'm sorry, Dad, she said. I hate it. You did that just to spite me, didn't you? But I haven't bothered you much since. Oh, shame, Mr. Piper. <laughs> she, she, she's upset. I'm sorry, Leslie. I was jealous. 
Now, now don't take off. I didn't mean to hurt you. It was only oh. that I just... Oh. Uh, hello, everybody. Oh, hello, love. You, you back, are you? I said, there's, uh, there's nothing wrong, is there? That's just what we're trying to find out. Oh, hello. Oh, there, Jeffrey. Hey, come in. Hey, Violet, it's your Uncle Fred. Hello there. Oh, hello, Uncle Fred. Nice to see you. It's nice to see you, love. Hey, uh, I say, are you two alone? Are yeah, you? why? Me mum's shopping and me dad's in town. Arthur's doing a children's matinee. Oh. Jeff was drying me air for me. I think it'll do now, though. Well, I've got to be off. I'm taking her to a dance tonight, Fred. Lucky girl. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> so long now. <laughs> to hard, Jeff. Cheerio, Fred. All the best. Oh, he's a nice lad, is Geoffrey. Yeah, he's a love. We get on like house on fire. He's always cheerful. I'm quite looking forward to the dance tonight. Hey, shall I make us some coffee, Uncle Fred? No, I'll not be staying long, love. I only just called in to see you. And how's married life going? Oh, fine, fine. Of course, it'd be nice if we could get a place of our own. Otherwise, it's really fine. Violet, love. Yeah, what is it, Uncle Fred? Let me have a look at you. Can I see a little tear in the corner of your eye? Or am I... Oh, oh, Uncle Fred. That's all right, love. You needed to get one little gulp out. Now then, what is it? You won't tell anyone, will you? Oh, I think you know me. Anyway, I am a professional man. Uncle Fred, isn't it awful? I'm... Oh, oh, I hate saying it, but... I'm still a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love. All right, now. Have your little sob against me. Oh, hey. How about... Uh, what's so awful about it? There's many a woman would give a fortune to be able to say that. But not after she'd been married six weeks. Yes, I, I see. I think Arthur's one as well. He's not the only man as is. Uncle, Uncle Fred, I've been wondering, do you... Do you think Arthur could be one of those men who, well, can't find happiness with a woman? He could be. I could be. Anybody could be. But I'd like to bet some money he isn't, if I follow what you mean. But what could be the cause? I mean, it's gone off. Listen, love, there could be, there could be 50 causes. And it might be the least thing. No home of your own. Worry. Worry above all. Being in his dad's home. He's got a thing about his dad. But other couples manage. All couples are not alike. See, you're very unusual, Violet, if I may say so. Being a virgin bride in these days, it must be almost unheard of. You don't mean I'm... I'm... Backwards at coming forwards? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. But a sensitive chap like Arthur, well... He does take things to heart. Oh, but... Jeff, nothing gets Jeff down. He's happy-go-lucky. Violet, uh, you're going dancing with Jeff. You go on about him being cheerful. You, well, uh, are you sure you married the right brother? Married the... Oh, but of course I have. What gave you that daft idea? I wouldn't swap my Arthur for a dozen Jeffreys. Getting on with a man is one thing. Loving a man is quite another. I love Arthur, and no matter what happens or doesn't happen, I'll go on loving him till my dying day. Love, there's the answer. Love brings all things right in time. Here, I'll bet the next time I see you, you'll be letting me know when you're expecting. Hey, Arthur, what time is it? Hmm? Um, twenty past. Oh, yeah, another cup of. Uh, uh, yeah, go on, there's, there's some there. <laughs> well, we don't have to change the reel till half past. Hey, how's uh, a married life going down? Hey? Oh, look, put that damn book down and listen to folk, will you? I said, how's married life going down? It's all right. Why? <laughs> what do you mean, why? Well, I'm... I mean, why were you asking me any particular reason? There's no bloody reason at all, is there? Except I was just asking you for something to say, you know. I mean, you've got that way lately. There's nobody can say a word to you without you picking them up. I, I, I don't know what the hell's got into you. Yeah, I'm sorry, Eddie. I'm, I've been a bit umpty, haven't I? Well, I suppose we'd best be getting back. All right, get off. We've got a good five minutes to go, yeah? Uh, yeah, you too. 
Back with you in there. Back in the pub. I was just coming. I'll get a move on. Look, by rights, Mr. Thompson, our tea break isn't up yet. Hey, are you sure, Eddie? Yeah. Eddie, don't you be so cheeky or I'll tell you. Look, look at your watch, Arthur, come huh? on. We broke at five with it, right? Well, mm -hmm. it's not nearly half past oh, yet. Why? Hey, I'm sitting down yeah. again. Bitten? Is there, is there any more tea left, Eddie? Eddie, don't so. you touch that pot. You get back. Oh, no, I wouldn't, Eddie. I'd insist on my rights. You're right. tough, Fitton. <laughs> rights? Hey, you're a nice one to talk about rights. Here, Eddie, you get back. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Rights. Oh, forget it. Now get back to your job. You don't want me to do it for you, do you? What, do you think you could? Do it? Oh, my bloody head. Now, listen, <laughs> I might be able to do another little job for you as well. Come on, Eddie. Off it into the box. Look, we've another four minutes Thompson. by rights. What do you mean by another little job? Oh, never mind. Now, both of you, get back to your work and I'll bloody sack the pair of you. Yeah, that's for you, Arthur, big head. <laughs> Just send for me next time. Send for you? What for? Shall I tell you? To do a job for that little wife of yours, Violet, one it seems you haven't got round to yet. You... You filthy! <coughs> All right, I'll show you. Hey, good lad, Arthur! All right, come on, fit that. <coughs> Right. Oh, good lad, Arthur, go on, spit in his kitchen, right. that's how you tap his credit right. Where are you fitting for that? Come on, then. Right. Come on, let's do your man up. Ah. Hey, good lad, Arthur! Bloody right. hell, what's, what's going on here? Stop it, stop it, you two! Hey, Get out with you. you what? I'll kill him! Ah, come on, then, I'm waiting. <coughs> go on, right. Arthur, belt him again! Stop it! <coughs> Eddie, what's going on? No, it was your husband, wasn't it? He said, <coughs> hey, go on, Arthur, go on, you got him now. You got him. Let go! Let go of me! I will when you said you're sorry. Stop it, Arthur, you're choking no, him. I won't let go, Arthur. Come on, Lord, he's got all his life. Say you're dog. sorry. Stop Stop what? Eddie, what could me? Say you're sorry. He said, go on, Arthur. Come on. Sorry. Apologise. <laughs> Apologise. <laughs> what did you say? Well, oh, well, he said, uh, he said something about uh, doing a job for Arthur. You choked me. He said what? Then you'll take that sort of thing and, and that! I'll stop it, Wally! The bank weighs a turn off! I've got a nose bleed already! And you're lucky I left you off with that. Why, oh, I could... Arthur, I'm right sorry. Oh. oh, that he should say anything about you and that lovely little girl you married. Oh, I've fitten your sack. What? Ah, oh, go on, stop your job. I'm off. Yeah, but I'm warning you. If you ever open your dirty mouth again, I'll... Uh, Eddie. He'll get back to your work. Hey, look, by rights, you know, I've got another minute and a half. Right, yeah, I'll hey, now you're what, doing it? nothing. You promised never to breathe a word. Yeah, well, he he drew it out of me. Drew it out of you? I wish I had let him choke you. Oh, what a flaming mess you look. And as for doing a job for him, you couldn't do a job for our cat. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> Good and that you wish his dogs go and give it to him. Go on. <laughs> and if you want to know. Milkman's been doing a job for you for years! <laughs> Go on, get out of here! <laughs> Lucy, mm. you know what it says here in paper? says something about if these Chinese go on increasing, there's not going to be enough food to go around. I don't think I'd let that worry me too much if I were you. Somebody's <laughs> got to worry. Oh, it's you, Arthur. Thought it were our Jeff. What's brought you home at this hour, love of a Saturday? Is it anything wrong? No, there's nothing, Mother. I'll just go upstairs. Don't worry. Oh. Did he say why he come home? Oh, you was here. You heard as much as I heard. I won't have him walking through the house like it were a public convenience. Oh, don't be vulgar. Well, what else can I say? He looked neither to right nor left. Hello, it's only me. Oh, hello, Violet. Hello, oh, Violet. Hello, Mr. Fitton. Is your Geoffrey back yet? Not yet. Uh, our Arthur is. Arthur? What's he doing at all? Didn't say. Just walk through here like it were a public conference. Don't use that expression before a young girl. Well, I know it's not nice, but what else can you say? He just Shut walked... up! Well... Here, Violet, lover. Taking this nice fresh cup of tea up with you, will you? I wonder what could have brought him home. I'll go up to him. Right. Arthur, Arthur, it's me. Your mother asked me to bring you this cup of tea. Arthur? Arthur, what's the matter? I've been speaking to you. I heard. I've got nothing to say to you. What are you packing your clothes for? I'm getting out. Getting out? Getting out where? I'm leaving you. Leaving me? 
But Arthur, what have I done? You've opened your big mouth once too often. Arthur, what's come over you? Oh, do tell me. I, I asked you not to tell anybody. Didn't I? I begged you. But I haven't. Except my mother. I told her. Oh, I and your father. My dad came in when I told her. Now, listen. I'm nothing and I'm nobody. And I don't mind. But I've always been able to hold my head up. And then I'm no sooner married. Oh, all right, I admit I made a poor job of it. Then my wife goes around discussing our affairs with everybody. But listen, Arthur, I haven't. Not with... Ah, oh, then how can Joe Thompson say... Ah, oh, you liar. Take your tea away. Oh. Yeah, I'll give you such a... Oh, I'm so sorry, Arthur. Ah. I am truly... But, but let go of my shoulder. You're hurting me. Well, I'd like to hurt you. I'd like to... But I hope you didn't forget to tell them one thing, just one. What? That you put me off. Yes, you've always put me off. L laughing that first night. Always bringing something up. Always. Yes, you put me off. How dare you! How dare... Uh... Oh, you little bitch. Right. Now you've asked for it. Oh. You... you what? Oh. 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 You're hurting me. Arthur... Arthur, are we going in, me? Eh? Hit you? Oh, oh no, I, I, I'm sorry, Violet. I, I, I nearly... Oh, oh forgive me. I, I, I don't know what's come over me. I understand, Arthur. And I'm so sorry. And I do love you. Oh, I, I love you, darling. I... I oh. <laughs> I love you. I do love you. I've always loved you. And I'll always go on loving you. Yes, always. Oh, I love you, darling. I do love you. Oh, Arthur. Oh, yes. Arthur. Yes, Violet. Arthur, darling. Oh, darling. Oh, oh. oh. Lucy. What do you think it's funny Violet hasn't come down yet? What's funny about it? Well, she only took him a cup of tea up. Well, what's keeping them both upstairs? You keep on worrying about Chinese and you'll have enough on your plate. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> it's only me. Oh, is my tea ready yet then, Mum? No, Jeff. No, oh, it's in the oven, love. I'll just go and get it for hey, you. What's in that big parcel you've got? Oh, something. Something special. Hey, is Violet back yet? Violet? Ah, oh, she's upstairs. Upstairs? Oh, I'd best go and tell her I'm here. Jeff, hey, where are you off? I'm just going upstairs. Papa? I'll have to tell Violet I'm here. No, you're not. What do you mean, no, I'm not? Of course I am. I'm just going up to tell Violet... You're that... telling Violet nothing. I don't want you to disturb her. Oh, don't be daft, Mum. I'm not disturbing her. I'm taking her dancing. Don't you understand? I bet she's getting herself ready this minute. Come away from them stairs when I tell you her, her husband's with her. Oh, what's with her? Her husband. How oh, are Arthur? Are you going deaf? Oh. Hey, what's he doing home at this hour? A man in his own business. He walked through here like it was a public convenience. If you mention that thing once more... Tell I'll... you there's no other way of mentioning it. Shut up! Well... I've warned you. And you, Jeff, sit down and have your tea. <sighs> hey, Dad, hmm? you think our Arthur's got the sack or something? I don't know what he's got, lad. It's no business of mine. But he's no right to walk through this room hey, like a couple... I've got this teapot. Where have you got in that parcel, Jeff? Oh, a couple of lovebirds. Get off. Lovebirds? Oh, give <laughs> over. You like to see them? <laughs> hey, what made you get lovebirds? They're a wedding present, like, for Violet and our Arthur. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> aren't they bonnie? Oh, way. <laughs> <laughs> Is their mum singing? You don't think it's me, do you? <laughs> hey, mum, shall I just snuff upstairs and show them? No, you'll show nothing. Oh, but mum... Sit down and finish your tea. Oh. Look at them. <laughs> Aren't they quaint, Lucy, eh? <laughs> Look how close they perch to one another. Will they breed? No, not in captivity. Aww. Aye, puts them off like, does it? Aye, they've got to feel free. Mm. And the chap said in the shop that if they got separated, they'd die. Aww. Fine away, like. Yeah, fancy that. They don't weigh more than an ounce between pair of them. There's more feeling than a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, somebody at door. Cover them up, Jeff. Put them over there, out of way. Why, what's wrong? Well, it doesn't look nice of a Saturday evening. Love birds on the table. Might give a wrong impression. You know, you never know what folk think in this life. Mm, I'll get it. Right, oh. I'll cover them up. Yeah, that'll stop them singing. Oh, 
Betty. Piper. Oh, good then, Lord. <laughs> Is Mrs. Piper. Oh, Mrs. Piper. <laughs> now, don't let me disturb you. Now, I'll tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. Leslie's seen that man. Uh, you know, with the house. Oh, but well, he needs right. a bit doing to it. But there's a nice garden, a big one, uh -huh. and he'd like a young couple. Hey. He'll give our Violet and your Arthur the first chance. Oh, way, Dad. Hey, would you go up and have a look at it? Me? <laughs> Our Arthur will take no notice of what I say. Where's our Violet? Oh, she's upstairs. I'll give her a shout. Tell her you're here. You'll do nothing of the sort. You'll stay where you are. Leave Violet to be. Oh, Mum, what's come over you? Nothing wrong, is there? Our, um, our Arthur's upstairs with her. Your Arthur? What's he doing home? I don't know. What got me was when he came through here... For the last through. time, I'm <laughs> warning you. Betray <laughs> yourself, Mrs. Fitton. Hey, Mrs. Piper, I'm taking Violet to a dance tonight. Do you think I could go upstairs? I, I said no. Mm. You like all single folk, isn't you, Mrs. Piper? <laughs> They've no respect for married privacy. Once folk are married, they, they don't want you butting into the bedrooms any hour of the day or night. Uh, you follow me, Mrs. Piper? <laughs> um... <laughs> Yes, I, I think I see what you mean. Yes, I do. Don't want disturbing. <laughs> um, Mr. Fitton, the weather appears not to be able to make up its mind. Yeah, eh, eh, the what? I, I was saying, the weather. The, 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 oh, yes. Yes, I thought it uh, looked like rain once over. It came over very dark and then kind of blew away. Geoffrey, door. I'm not deaf. I'll go. Yes, I thought I felt a spot or two. I never knew it had sent any down. Oh, yes. I thought I felt the odd spot. Uh, but uh, I, I wouldn't swear that it was rain. You can never be sure, Mr. Fitton, when you feel the odd drop. Oh, hello, Mr. Piper. It's Mr. Piper. Come in, will you? Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when you get a few drops following you around... Then you can be pretty sure it's rain. What? What's that? I was just uh, finishing a conversation with Mrs Piper. Liz, have you told her? Told who? What? Our Violet about the house. No, she's uh, upstairs. I'll go and tell her. I'll tell her you're here. You will not. Oh, Mum, but Mr Piper wants to see Violet. Well, um, Violet doesn't want to see Mr Piper. <gasps> if she doesn't, it'll be the first time in her life. <laughs> well, there has to be a first time for everything. <laughs> Our Arthur's up there with her. What's your Arthur doing at all? I don't know what he's doing, but what got me was the way... If you say the... another word, just I'm one, a... I'll bring this poker. I... Oh, oh, listen, what's that? It's come from upstairs. Our Arthur must have put it on. Aye, sounds like he's singing to it. I wonder what come over him. I had a mate one time could sing like that. It's from Andal's Messiah. Hey, Mum, do you think I should... No, just... he'll be coming down when they're ready. Hey, I think I hear them coming downstairs. Yes, that's them coming down. I oh, don't want us to be late for the dance. Hello, everybody. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. hello. Mum, Dad, what a nice surprise. Hello, love. How nice you look and all dressed up. Yes, love. And your suitcase. Where are you going? On our honeymoon. Oh, how nice. Honeymoon? But I thought we was going well, Where to... are you going? Blackpool. <sighs> hey, bye. Yeah. We thought it as good a place as any. Hey, but Violet, what about the dance? What dance? You know, the motorbike. Oh, sorry, Jeff. It quite slipped my mind. Anyway, uh, I wouldn't feel like dancing just now. <laughs> Arthur, we came about that house. Aye, what? it's yours for the asking, but it'll need looking at. Oh, thank you, Mr Piper. Uh, Mum, do you think we should put off our honeymoon? Oh, no, definitely not. They don't stand keep being put off, eh, Mrs. Piper? Eh? Oh, no. No, not too often. Uh, but, uh, 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 Arthur, here. What? Come here, love, a minute. Uh. Listen, about the cottage. Ask your daddy if he can have a look over it for you. What? Oh, no, I, I couldn't. Yes, you could. Now, you go on. Go on. Uh, 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 Dad? Eh? Hey? Oh, you're talking to me, lad. Uh, yes, Dad, I, I was... Uh, I, I was just wondering, would you like to look at the cottage for me? Sure, I'll... Uh, I'll look at cottage. Aye, I'll go first thing in the morning. Oh. Yes, uh, take out Jeff. Uh, Jeff, you what? The cottage. You, you can look at the cottage. Oh, aye. I'll be glad of your advice, Dad. 
Not do I say. <laughs> well, uh, you won't go far wrong with bricks and mortar, you know. <laughs> but, but, Arthur, shall we have enough money? I, I mean, can we get a mortgage? Uh, Violet, you just leave that to me. Oh, but, Dad... I said leave it to me. I've got a pound or two on one side, as daft as I look. I'll stand any surety. I'd mortgage this house if it come to me. No, Dad, I, I couldn't come to Why you. Why not? You're my son, are you? Be a poor father that a son couldn't turn to. And then look, are you carrying that? Do you know money? Well, um, oh, I've got my post office savings book, Dad. I, yeah, I'm all right. And I've a few pounds in my pocket. Come here. Don't let your mother see. What? Just take this cash. No, Dad, no, not all that. Get it in your pocket, lad. Ready money. That's the way. I don't know how to thank you, Dad. You don't have to. You're my son. And I, you just leave that house to me. Dad, I, I, I say, you're just in time to catch the Blackpool train. Oh. The evening one, if I run you to the station. Oh, how nice. Hey, hey Mum, you come with us to the station. I'd love to. Mother, goodbye. Goodbye, love. God bless. Goodbye, Dad. God speak, lad. God speak. Goodbye. Good to tell, love. Have a nice day. Hey, see you in the car. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, I forgot to give him the wedding present. The lovebirds. Ah, well. Hold on to him for the new home, eh? But they made a funny couple going off. Just what I thought. I hardly knew her, Arthur. I mean, you know, the way he went off there. Lucy, you know who he reminded me of? With that walk, it just crossed my mind. Yes, like... Dad, yes. I know, love, I know. Mum, what's up with Dad? He's crying. Shh. I can cry if I want to, can't I? Oh, I'm sorry, Dad, but I've never seen you like that before. Oh, it's... It's life, lad. Might make you laugh at your age. But one day it'll make you bloody cry. In All in Good Time by Bill Norton, Lucy Fitton was played by Paula Tilbrook, Ezra Fitton by Geoffrey Banks, Arthur Fitton by Alan Rothwell, Geoffrey Fitton by Keith Ladd. Leslie Piper by Ray Mort, Liz Piper by Jane Lowe, and Violet Piper by Anna Keaveney. Joe Thompson by Kenneth Farrington, Molly Thompson by Juliet Cook, Uncle Fred by Graham Roberts, and Eddie by Colin Edwin. The pianist was Trevor Holroyd. The play was produced in Leeds by Alfred Bradley.